got a question from someone on Reddit. I know, right? Who, uh, hmm. He said, I haven't seen your videos, so since you're in a debate about your own principles, uh, do you care to outline your views? What interests you about war reporting? What is your view on the history of the U.S. military? I'm asking you specifically about the morality. We all know the U.S. is very big pew-pews. So I figured I'd have a cigarette, have a drink, and maybe this will actually turn into my channel's introduction. So um, what interests me in war reporting? First off, I, I don't think I'm a war reporter. I, uh, I, I know Tim Mack of the Counteroffensive, which is an actual news organization. I know how he does reporting. And uh, I, when I first quit my job, I said, oh, I'm going to be a journalist. And then I realized after meeting Tim, I'm never going to be like him. I'm never going to have the ability to write stories. I know how to talk. And um, yeah, I know, how to, I know how to write. I know how to do video editing. Uh, but I don't know how to write like a journalist. So I, I think I was a journalist for about a month. And I'm like, you know what I am as an intel guy. So I spent 20 years as an infantryman. Uh, and then I, while serving, I got a degree in computer science, I got a master's in engineering management, and then I got a, after I retired, I got a master's in cybersecurity. So when I, when I left, I went to, I was really valuable because I could work for all these defense contractors. And these defense contractors needed a guy who was an infantryman who could speak the language of the infantryman but who could also speak the language of the software engineer. So that's what I did. And it, uh, it worked out really well for me financially. And, and you know, you're, you're a software engineer with a security clearance. You, you do well. And um, what is, so I, but one of the things that I realized after the war in Ukraine kicked off was that I was one of the few people in America that could actually talk about uh, the military in a way that a lot of people understand, like break it down in a very, very simple way. I attribute some of that to the fact that I was uh, an instructor. I was an infantry instructor for about three years. And then I also attribute that to the fact that I'm a software engineer. And my YouTube channel used to be about writing computer software. And it still is. I still do some software here and there. But when the war in Ukraine kicked off, I made two videos, one about um, why tank turrets pop off their hulls and another video about why uh, Ukraine hadn't been the subject of cyber attacks. And my channel just took off. So, you know, I realized, wow, there's a need for this. Like people want to know, hey, how, why does this happen? And I have this data set of knowledge and this is my life. Uh, I, do, I do exercise. I'm actually about to go running. This, is, this video is holding me up from going running. Uh, I, I work about 13, between 13 and 16 hours a day. I, I exercise and I, I do Intel stuff and that's it. That, that's my entire life. And uh, I can tell you that, you know, I, I have like four jobs. I work for Newsmax as a commentator. I work for a private intelligence agency. I, um, I work the, through the Aeromed Lab, which uses AI powered drones to deliver whole blood to soldiers. And I do YouTube. <laughs> like I, I'm always busy. But uh, what's my view on the history of the U.S. military? I'm specifically asking about morality. Look, um, my family had to flee Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland was a bad place back then. And I can tell you something that's pretty amazing. And a lot of people who... Um, a lot of people who, who've lived their lives and nothing bad has ever happened to them, they don't understand this. But I've never once been targeted because I walked through a Catholic neighborhood. Right, I'm Irish Protestant. And I've never once been targeted because I walk through a Catholic neighborhood. And that's pretty special. America is an incredible place. Um, you know, this is, is the country that took my family in. It's, it's the country where I went from a guy who was supposed to be a carpenter. And there's nothing wrong with being a carpenter. My dad was like, son, you need to be a carpenter. And I, like, I, I, I don't want to be a carpenter. I want to work with computers. But it was the army that got me there. And it, I attribute my success that I have today to, to the military, to the fact that, that the military gave me not only the tools, but also the financial ability to be independent and go, go study computer science. 
So that's, that's kind of my deal. Uh, the U.S., I, I firmly believe the U.S. are the good guys. We're the good guys. We want to see a free and democratic world where you compare the way we treat people in the U.S. with people in Russia, you know, people in China. Well, if the U.S. is so bad, why the hell are so many people trying to come here? Right? Like, th this is an amazing, amazing country. It's almost like you have to be an immigrant to really understand what America is all about. And I love being a soldier, soldier for life, right? And I, I love being an American. And uh, I think that's kind of my, my mentality, my morality. Um, it's that America really is the light of the world. And right now there are forces of darkness that are gathering, forces of evil. China is evil. Russia is evil. The government of Iran is evil, not the people. The people of Iran are great, but the government, not, not so great. North Korea, evil. Hamas, I got news for you. Palestinians, there's nobody more pro-Palestinian than me, but Hamas has got to go. There is evil in the world. And uh, the U.S., we, uh, we fight evil. And uh, that's kind of my deal. I, uh, I want to be able to give good intelligence assessments to everybody, no matter what their political party is, because they deserve the absolute best intelligence so that they can make decisions that will help America and uh, hopefully <laughs> help free some of these countries that are living under tyranny. So uh, enjoy the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh man, I'm so bored! Christ on crutches with a permanent profile! That's because you have the wrong toys! You need a Ryan Macbeth in action figure from the Knife Hand Company! That's right, Ryan Macbeth in action figures go everywhere! Put them on your desk! Your Crocs! Your keychain! You can even ask Ryan advice! Ryan, why does Daddy ignore me when I'm over his house for the weekend? Because your new mommy is way hotter than your old mommy! Trading cards! You get a free trading card in every box! Now that's ryan Riffic. So come on down! To the Knife Hand Company! And get your in-action figure today! Alcoholism, cigarettes, and non-service connected hearing loss sold separately.